Hello friends, welcome to the Jazz Ranch, Hip Cats and Groovy Chicks. Welcome to 2020. Will it be the Roaring Twenties again? Well, I doubt that actually, but anyway. I'm going to be giving you some um, interesting material this evening based on a scale that is the Locrian scale, which applies to a minor 7 flat 5 or a half diminished chord. And I'm going to be using it in the tune, a great song, by Johnny Mandel called The Shadow of Your Smile. And I have a couple of quotes for you to start out with. And one is, the first one comes from W.H. Auden, the great writer. He said, the most exciting rhythms seem unexpected and complex, but the most beautiful melodies are simple and inevitable. I like that one. Also, this comes from someone you may not be familiar with, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, and he said this, Music will help dissolve your perplexities and purify your character and sensibilities. And in time of care and sorrow, will keep a fountain of joy alive in you. So now here we go with a shout of your smile and we'll talk about the specific half diminished chords after that. Here we go.
starting out, I just want to say that this particular scale, the half diminished scale, which is also the Locrian scale, is probably one of the more difficult scales to really master. And I'm not sure really why, exactly why that is, but for me it has been that way. And if it's that way for you, then I'm hoping I'm going to give you some enlightenment about it. Now, first of all, you know, we're going to just do the scale tone 7. So we know this is, if we're looking at modes, this is Ionian, this is Dorian, this is Phrygian, this is Lydian, this is Mixolydian, this is Aeolian, and here's our Locrian scale. So now, that means we're going to play that chord, that B half diminished. It's the only half diminished chord in the system. So this is major 7, minor 7, minor 7, major 7, dominant 7, minor 7, minor 7 flat 5, or half diminished. It's the only one in the system. That's going to be playing a C scale starting on B. So it's the, here's the scale. There we go. So there it is. So it's a tricky scale to understand, particularly in the keys that uh, you play in, in which you're not on the white notes. I mean, which in this particular case, we're in the key of E minor, which is relative to G major. And we have actually four half diminished chords in this tune, which is interesting. And they're not easy um, to play. So I want to show you them one at a time. And we'll go through the tune and we'll look at those half diminished chords and what the scales are for each one. Let's look at the basic Locrian scale in, in the key of C. So we know there's a B half diminished here and we're playing all white notes. Now you have to ask yourself how is the major scale in B been altered? What are the altered notes? So B major would be this, would have you know like five sharps, right? So now we have this scale which has these alterations flat 2, which is the same as a flat 9, we'll call it a flat 9, okay, flat 2, flat 9, flat 3, so it's minor, it's a minor scale, there's your perfect fourth, now you have a flat 5, you also have a flat 6, right, because th that would be the 6 normally, and uh, in this, if it was a major scale, be that would be the 6, this is a flat 6, and you have a flat 7, so you have a lot of flats, you have a flat 2, you have a flat 3, you have a flat 5, you have a flat... Most of the notes are flatted. I mean, the only uh, scale that's more flatted than that is the super locum, which has the fourth lowered. But um, there you have it. It's all flat notes. Now, that's easy to see in the key of C. It's just all white notes. But if we're in different keys, try to, try to find those scales. That's what we're talking about. I'm going to show you there's, there's, there's a, an F sharp half diminished in this tune. There's a, a C sharp half diminished. And there's also a B half diminished. Okay, so we'll look at those individually. Now, interesting thing about this tune is we're in E minor, right, or relative to G major, so the scale would have one sharp. But immediately, it contradicts that rule by having the melody go like this. To that note, it should go to this, right, in, in the relative minor. It should be a C natural, which is in the scale of... Now you have this C sharp. What's that doing there? Well, that note, the F sharp minor 7 chord, is really a Dorian relating to E major. So it has a C sharp in it. You see, so there you have a Dorian scale on the first chord, not a uh, relative minor. So Dorian, there, it's still, you know, that's still ma E major. 5 of E major, but then we're going to go into E minor, so now he puts this note in there, taking us back to E minor. Now it's the, the scale of E minor, or G major. So here you have the ambiguity of E major to E minor, right? Right away. So it's very interesting that way, and it's not easy to play or to sing because of that. That's, yeah, that's... Da, now it goes to the minor. Now it goes to the relative major, 2-5 two, two of the relative major, then the 4 chord. Now here you have the half diminished chord for the first time. Now, what is that scale? Well, half diminished, it's going to be Locrian, right? So what's Locrian? It, it be the G, that'd be Locrian of G, so, so that's our scale. Now 
Now, in my book, I talk about you can have a low Korean with a flat two, or you can have it with a natural two. So you can have, you can decide which you like better. Both will work. The natural two, those are the two scales I talk about, is this one, and then the one with the natural two. And then on the dominant chord, you can use, you know, a half tone, whole tone scale if you want. Not to be the relative minor. Now we're going down to C sharp, half diminished. Now C sharp, half diminished is going to relate to what major scale? As well as the seventh step of a D major. So now we have this. Right, D major. So now we have this. Or if you want to have the natural two, it would be this. So there's your scale. I kind of like the, the, the uh, you know, that note in there. But either one will work. When you get to the F sharp now, you have that half tone, whole tone scale, or the uh, alter dominant scale. So you're back to F sharp minor now, not half diminished, B7, no. It's setting up the E minor chord again, you see, but instead of going to E minor, we go to the two chord, and it's a repeat of the uh, beginning of the song. Okay, so you have, so far we've had the F sharp half diminished, and we have the C sharp half diminished in there. Now next, it's a repeat. So here you have another half diminished chord. So there's the third one. You actually have three in this, in this tune. So you have the F sharp half diminished, you have the C sharp half diminished, and you have the the B minor 7 flat 5. Now that one is going to relate to obviously our C scale. We talked about already. Or it can make it, the, the two can be major. You can have that. So whichever you prefer, either one will work. I, I kind of like that one there. Let's see. because it relates more to the uh, G scale coming back to the uh, actual scale or the E minor scale, the actual scale of the tune. And on the E7 you can do the half, half whole, half tone, whole tone, all the dominant scale. You see, so there you have three different half diminished scales in this tune I'd like to mention that one of the things that holds this tune together so nicely is the melodic aspect of the, what I would call the motive, or the motif, motif, however you want to pronounce it, which is um, defined as a short musical phrase and a reoccurring figure, a musical fragment or a succession of notes that have some special importance or characteristic. And then, so like looking at it, you have, that's your motive. Now you can uh, think of it as one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three. In other words, there's a rhythm, right? So then it repeats, right? Then, then it goes again, right? Then it goes again, or yeah. It's pretty clever that way, where he's used the motive and, and incorporated different chords in the melody. Again, continues that same phrase. Now, Johnny Mandel tune, you don't have to do anything to improve upon it. It's perfect just the way it is. So now in review, the Locrian, or the B half diminishes Locrian to C, so it's a C scale starting on B. And it's paired in a 2-5-1 with E7. Now the E7 usually will have the flat 9 in it because that flat 9 is also the flat 5 of the B half diminished. So they're paired in that way. But 
and the alterations would be going from to the E7 flat 9. You would have that G sharp in there, and probably that A sharp, and that C sharp. So you have this. So you can hear that, right? The two five one. What I'd recommend is just playing these two five ones slowly and get familiar with running the scales, maybe almost at a ballad tempo. Like that. The F sharp. The B. C-sharp. And the last one is the B. It's probably the easiest because it's the white notes. I wrote out a figure that you can practice on this. It goes like this. So that would be it in the B, on the B chord. Um, on the F sharp chord it would be this. And on the C sharp it would be this. there. Here's a quick look into my book, Chapter 24 of Volume 2, Scales for Improvisation. Now, the, we, these are the most important scales you want to learn for jazz, and they're broken down into categories, major, minor, and so on, but we start out with major scales, and you get the scale, plus you get an example of it used in a lick, so it's practical. You know, here's the C major Lydian, and you have, like, the scale, then you have a, an example of it used in a lick. And so on. You, so then you have the major scales, the minor scales, the natural minor, harmonic minor, melodic minor, Dorian, Phrygian, minor pentatonic. Now here's your Locrian scale, which of course is a minor scale with a flat five. And you have the two examples that I showed you in this video, the, with the natural two and the flatted two, or the minor two. Then you have the mixolydian, the lydian flat seven, the half tone, whole tone, diminished scale, and uh, the alter dominant scale, super locrian, blues scale, whole tone scale. All the scales that you need to learn that I think are the most important ones for jazz, plus you have examples of them uh, used in, melodically in a, in a lick or a phrase. Signing off from the Jazz Ranch. I hope you like this video. Please write to me. I'd love to hear from you. I will always respond to all comments and emails if you give me time. And until next time, I'll say in the words of my great friend, Hermie Dressel, he's still up there looking at down on us with pity, saying, swing loose, and we'll see you next time around. Bye-bye. <laughs>